everyone. My name is Future Quarter. I'm a program manager on the Microsoft Defender for Cloud customer experience engineering team. Today, I'm going to be helping you with the Qualys vulnerability scanner. So before we get started today on today's discussion for the Qualys vulnerability assessment, I'd first like to review the different vulnerability assessments that we currently have within Microsoft Defender for Cloud. The first one you'll notice here is the SQL vulnerability assessment. This vulnerability assessment is part of the Microsoft Defender for SQL plan, and it targets your SQL databases. And this vulnerability assessment is actually created by the SQL VA team at Microsoft. You'll also notice here we have container image scanning. This is part of the Microsoft Defender for Containers plans, and right now it supports Azure Container Registries, um, and it only supports Linux. It does not support Kubernetes images. And finally, you'll notice here the virtual machine vulnerability assessment. And there are a couple of different options for your virtual machines, which we'll take a look at uh, later on in this video. But first off, I, I wanted to point out here in the recommendations that all your recommendations regarding these vulnerability assessments will be found under the security control remediate vulnerabilities. And like with all security controls in Defender for Cloud, you have to remediate all the recommendations within the security control before you get the full credit here. So for example, I have to remediate all three of these recommendations in order to achieve my six points towards my secure score. But now back to the, the virtual machine vulnerability assessments. So when I click on this tab here, it takes me to this recommendation. Machines should have a vulnerability assessment solution. The first thing you'll notice is the freshness interval for 24 hours. So this is saying that every 24 hours, Microsoft Defender for Cloud will scan your, your cloud environment to see if your machines have a vulnerability assessment solution. And if they don't, that machine will show up here under unhealthy resources. If they do, you'll find them under healthy resources. So first off, to remediate these unhealthy virtual machines and create a, and, and deploy a vulnerability assessment solution on them, you can use the quick fix feature. And what that entails is just clicking next to the unhealthy machine and then clicking on fix. And it takes you to this page here and here, this is showing you the different options that you have for vulnerability assessment solutions. And you see here, we have three main options. The vulnerability assessments for virtual machines is part of the Microsoft Defender for Servers plan. So first you wanna make sure you have that before deploying the vulnerability assessment solution. The first option is threat and vulnerability management, which is powered by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, um, but you still need the do you need the Microsoft Defender for Servers plan to be able to use that in Defender for Cloud? The second one is the integrated vulnerability scanner that's powered by Qualys, uh, which we'll be focusing on today. And then the last one here is to configure a third party scanner. And you'll notice here it says BYOL, which means bring your own license. And with this, you have the option to, to configure uh, two different types of scanners here, the first one being Rapid7 and the other one being Qualys. So if you currently have your own license for either of these solutions, you can configure your own license using this page. And then once you've configured that license, this option here will no longer be grayed out and you can apply that solution to other virtual machines. One question that we often get asked is, uh, what does the agent extension look like or, or how do I know if the provisioning of the agent succeeded or was unsuccessful? In this environment here, you'll notice that I have some resources that are listed under not applicable. And for the first couple of virtual machines here, I see that Defender for Cloud is telling me that my extension might be corrupted. I need to remove it and deploy it again. So when I click on that virtual machine, I go to extensions and applications. I see the different extensions that, that have been deployed on my machine. 
And the last one you'll notice here is Windows Agent Azure Security Center. So this is the Qualys Agent, uh, which you see under Type. Uh, so this is where I would go to find the Qualys extension. And I see here that the status is provisioning failed. Now, in order to remediate that, I would click on the agent and you see here that I have the option to uninstall it. So I would uninstall it and then install it again. And of course I have uh, some more detailed information here about the, the status of the agent. In cases where the provisioning of the Qualys agent fails or continues to fail even after uninstalling it and reinstalling it, there are a couple of things you really wanna check for first. One thing you really wanna make sure of is that your machine can communicate with the Qualys cloud and that's by making sure you have the, the following addresses added to your allow list. And again, you can find more information about this um, within our documentation which I've linked in the description and here as well. But this is one of the first things you want to verify. Another thing that you want to verify is the supported operating system of your machine. So you want to make sure that the operating system of your virtual machine is uh, supported by the vulnerability assessment solution. And another way to check for that is through our documentation, um, which I've linked as well in um, in the description and on the screen. Back in the recommendations blade, you'll notice a related recommendation here called machine should have a vulnerability, machine should have vulnerability findings resolved. And you'll notice that um, this recommendation is dependent on the machine having a vulnerability assessment solution. When you click on this recommendation, here is where you'll see the vulnerabilities that have been found on your virtual machines. So you'll notice with this recommendation, it's refreshed every four hours. Um, but once you scroll down here, you'll see the security checks. And here are the specific vulnerability findings that have been found on your machines. The second thing that I want to highlight is that some of these remediations require you to set a registry key. So for example, with this security finding, in order for me to fully remediate the finding, I need to set the registry key as directed right here. Another thing I'd like to point out is that some security findings will tell you that you need to remove a software or um, update any existing softwares that you have on your machine. So for example, with this security finding, it's saying that I need to remove the Adobe Flash Player. Now with vulnerabilities like this, it's really important that you make sure that there aren't any remnants of the, the old versions of the software or the, the software that you need to remove because this can be detected by Qualys and that would cause the vulnerability to stay listed here in the security findings. So any slight variance between your current configurations on the machine and what Qualys is actually looking for could cause the vulnerability to stay listed here in the security findings. And before we close out this video, I'd just like to share the reports or the workbook that we have with the vulnerability assessments. So if you go to workbooks here and then vulnerability assessment findings, you'll see this uh, vulnerability assessment findings workbook. And first off, it starts with an overview. So this is looking at the results of the vulnerability assessments across all three resource types. So you'll see virtual machines, containers, and SQL. The overview page is showing you an overview of all three resource types, and it breaks down by severity and the specific resource type. And then with the tabs, you can drill into that specific resource type. So with machines, I can see my vulnerabilities by resource group, uh, also organized by high, medium, and low severity. I also see the vulnerabilities by category. And again, I can see them by severity, uh, but this time it also breaks it down with the, the security findings ID description, um, if the patch is available, the category and resource group and resource name. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you again next time.